The under-14s Premier Division Cup final was played on Saturday evening. Dungoyne took on Lorne Youth at Seaview. Lauren took the lead early on in the game when a mix-up at the back presented Cian McRandall the chance to score and he did to make it 1-0. Riley Jones tried his luck with this free kick shortly after but it went just wide. Lauren had a free kick of their own minutes later, but it was gathered at the second attempt by Dylan Agnew. Dungoyne should have scored shortly after, when Jones played a dangerous ball across the box. However, Max Kennedy was denied by an accident saved by Ryan Marcus. McRandall came close again inside the first half this effort going just wide of the post. Dungoyne made it one each. No doubt this was practiced on the training ground. Jones played a great ball in that was met by Ben Hawthorne, who thumped his header past the keeper. Kennedy will be kicking himself, he didn't score for it on going here. He didn't quite get the connection he was looking for on this cross. Kennedy had another effort minutes into the second half. Good link up play between himself and Jones. The eventual effort was blasted over. Lauren could have scored with this chance. With the keeper well off his line, the shot was directed off target. Dylan Agnew was on hand to stop any shots on target as both teams tried to carve out a goal. Dungoyne with an extra score. Jones played an inch perfect pass to Kennedy. The big striker poked it past oncoming Marcus and into the back of the net. Minutes later, Lauren got caught with the ball in midfield. Jones was put through but a shot was well saved by goalkeeper Ryan Marcus. Riley Jones was without a doubt the difference in this game, deservedly getting his name on the score sheet with this belter. Full time score at Seaview, Dungoyne 3, Larnyuth 1, Dungoyne being crowned the under 14's Premier Division Supplementary Cup winners. The game was a really good game, a hard, hard fought contest. Uh, I thought as a team 
We started the once we started to settle down, played some great football. We maybe should have been three or four up at one stage with the chances we had. That's not taking anything away from Lauren. You know, they, they are a good side, but I just thought we created too many good chances for not to be taking them. But I think a fair result in the end. No, I think Mark covered everything there. Um, Lauren were, were very good, very well organised team. Uh, commiserations to them, but uh, we deserved it, I thought, on the day. Yeah, I think that over, over the whole match, I thought we deserved it. We've been here the last cup final and we had the other side of it, so commiserations to Lauren, and I thought we put up a good fight. Um, hopefully, we'll push on. Some good kids there, and hopefully, we'll push on for the rest of the season. The, the, Premier, the Premier Division, there's, there's six teams that are all capable of beating each other. Um, at the minute, we've played four, win four, sit on top of it. But, you know, if you take your eye off the ball, you can come down with a bang very quick. Our, our uh, plan now is to celebrate tonight, and these kids are putting three nights a week in, and not to take our eye off the ball, and to push on. Yeah, I think the quality in the league is very, very strong, you know. Um it just shows the NABFA Cup, the last 16, I think there's three uh, South Belfast teams still in it. Uh, Samiri's just won against uh, Sion Swifts today from the National League, so it shows that the South Belfast League's a, a very competitive, strong league. I think the, the league sort of gets overlooked by the National League. and uh, Maybe it's, it's, not, it's not a good reflection on the kids or the teams, but there's good enough kids in these, this year league to um, do the National League. But, Onwards and upwards for the league. It's a good, that was a good example of the league. Super, thank you very much.